kids having fun, I'm having fun. I'm just enjoying learning, man. So they teaching the skills the right way. That's what a lot of the kids need. The majority of you guys in here love the idea of playing college basketball or professional basketball, but the majority of you guys aren't doing nearly enough to give yourself a chance at making that happen. And so what I would love to do today is, you know, with Brandon and all these coaches, I mean, you guys got a great group of coaches. I would love to give you guys not only the blueprint of kind of what you need to work on, but also kind of inspire you guys to start working, you know, as consistently as you need to and as hard as you need to, to give yourself a chance to make those, you know, wild dreams of playing in the NCAA tournament or playing in the, you know, NBA or WNBA possible. Coach Amir, today is, I think today, Thursday, Thursday the 7th or 8th, one of those days. So we get heading to normal Illinois. Um, I'm getting ready to work a camp with Coach Brandon and Coach Drew. So I'm excited for it. Uh, I just want to let you guys know, go ahead, subscribe, follow, all of the above. So that's going to be our first episode. That's how we're kicking it off. So I appreciate y'all. Ball, like Kobe. Tell him <laughs> That's what he Kobe, bro. Getting ready to do the camp. Brandon and Drew put on a great event, so it's just gonna be a great time. I'm just here to learn and learn a little bit from these guys. So. Okay. Not both. He was like, but it's one of the, I was like, damn, I was like, well, my retention rate isn't bad, so I'm sucking training. I was like, I'm just not even good at marketing. So, at that point, I just do a marketing business side of it. He kind of has that, like, now. No time to do it. Back, wide base. Don't be super narrow, because then you're going to get bumped off your line when we're driving. Now, when we're here, all we're going to do is pocket dribbles. So we're going to take the ball pound, and we're going to bring the ball back while keeping our hand over top of the ball. So I'm not flipping the ball over, obviously that's a carry. We're dribbling and basically pushing our elbow back so we can protect the ball away from our defender. guarding me and all I want is a simple drill, I've done this a million times, but you're going to have one foot inside the three-point line, one foot outside the three-point line. That's the only rule. So one foot completely outside, one foot inside. You don't have to give me a straight line like that. Yeah, I would turn even more and make it harder. Perfect. Offensively, I'm going to have one foot basically right behind the three-point line and I'm one arm length away. All we're doing is we're working on straight line drives. The majority of you guys do this. You're ready to go. I'm going to go on the first one. I'm not going to fake it. More majority of you guys go like this, and when you take off, you go here. And we race downhill, and now we have a hard contested finish. Some of you guys will do this, and you try to take a good angle, but the problem is you don't realize the defender's gonna slide too, and so this time, you're gonna slide the same way, and you go like this, and now you try to almost run, and now you get over top. That's when you guys see you guys lose your feet. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna work on when we take off, basically getting our arm out, and trying to basically keep our arm out. So instead of swiping and doing this, where we have tons of real estate to get jammed, we're gonna be here and when we take off, we're going like this and just running straight to basically the opposite side of the backboard so that we end up at the front of the rim. I'm gonna show you a bad one first. So this is a bad one, then I'll show you a good one. Here's the bad one. You're live, 100%. Try to throw me as much as you can into here. Go. You guys see where I, I ended up? Now I'm going to show you a good one, okay? Now we're live, hey, we're at, I'm going to actually try this one. Up here. Good. Okay, you got to be ready. That's why you should Good, yep. Good, good. Ooh, up here. You guys see how now I've got a leg. But you see how my arm's out? It's not pushing off, it's anything. When I'm here, I'm going to do it again. I'm here. 
Good, let the ball hang. Let the ball hang. Boom. I'm here. I'm going. Update. It's decent, man. It's lit. I ain't gonna need a lot of kids having fun. I'm having fun. I'm just enjoying learning, man. They teaching the skills the right way, and that's what a lot of the kids need. So I'm with it. I love it. And they're pulling the bags out. They don't want me to. They don't want me to do that. Can you come up here? And you're going to be on defense. Let's do the exact same kind of concept. Only thing is, this time again, get your foot a little bit more this way. This time you're not faking. So I'm not sitting here and faking and trying to get him. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a dribble. I'm going to fake, and I'm going to go on the second one. You know I'm going on the second one. What's going to happen is I want you to bump me. Once you bump me, then we're basically locked. So I don't want, you know I'm going, so I don't want you to cheat and say just like his and cut me off. That doesn't make sense. We're doing this as an offensive drill. So you're going to have the ball. We're going to walk through it just so I can show you what I want. So your right foot forward, left foot, no, right foot forward, left foot back. So just take, hold start real quick. It's got to be good. Dribble, fake, dribble, go. Okay, so you're going here. Dribble, go in slow motion. Dribble, fake, dribble, go. I'm here bumping him and then we're locked. So I'm going to bump him, you'll notice that your hands on the back, you're going to have to fight over top, and then we're going to go lock. So now you do that to me so I can show you in slow motion, and then we'll go in faster. So I'm here, dribble, fake, dribble, he goes here, he bumps me, boom, and then I have to get low, and notice how I'm doing my arm in front of me. If you kick your arm back, you're just going to get pushed out of bounds. that you struggled with that you're like you know what I need an extra you know I hate show me this move again show me this move again before we go and kind of give our closing speech up any moves don't be embarrassed if there is something it's about you guys understanding what it is so the sad thing is the majority of you guys I'm just a realist the majority of you guys are going to go back and do the exact same thing you've always done and you're gonna get the exact same results that you've always done you're gonna Maybe work hard, you know, tomorrow or the next day because you might be a little bit motivated. But if I check back in a month from now, you will probably be doing the exact same thing before that. That's the majority of you guys. Then there's going to be a handful to a dozen of you guys that use today and say, you know what? I saw that I don't need to work on a ton of things. I need to really focus in and lock in on a few things that's really going to enhance my game and take my game to the next level. And for those five to twelve people that you know, really alter and change your workout habits, you're going to see your, your game just change exponentially. I really think that, you know, a lot of times when people are like, why do you come to these camps and clinics? Um, <clears throat> I really think people think it's so that I can just like help all of you guys out. And while I would love if I could help all of you guys out, the real reason I come to these camps and clinics is because there's a dozen of you guys that are going to take what I said to heart, take Brandon's teaching points to heart, be able to kind of take everything in 
and it's going to completely change and alter your, your workout habits, which is going to completely alter and change your game and your career. I kind of touched on the very beginning, and that's kind of before adding new skills, right? Just avoid that habit. How many of you guys messed up on one of the footwork we did or one of the finishes we did? Raise your hand. Okay. So can we add anything if we don't strip away the extra, the bad? No. Right? So I think a lot of times we don't look, look ourselves in the mirror and realize we need to get rid of the bad before we have Okay? And again, that takes consistently doing the right things with the right details over and over and over. So a lot of you guys that work with me in here already, how much of what we covered today have I been covering with you for a while, right? And I see, like, yeah, the cross steps, the same foot stops, right? And did you do them, did everybody do them right every time? Not necessarily, no. So we have to bridge that gap and be more consistent, keep stripping away the bad. Once we get good at it, we check it off, and now it's, okay, what's next? Okay. Um, that's really all I have. Uh, I want to thank Drew for coming. Um, this, is, this is huge for me. I mean, I, he's been my mentor for four, four and a half years. Hey. It was a blast, man. You know, we had fun. He kind of showed out a little bit, showed the world he could hoop. So, no, I appreciate Brandon and Drew, man. Those were great guys, and they set the foundation. Like, simply put, they code at what they do. Salute to them. Good break camp. I had fun. Got some new moves, some new moves I can try in the game. Hopefully y'all master those moves, man.